Satnam and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jai Gobind and this is your channel for grace. Welcome to our Scorpio season divine messages. We just finished a very powerful Libra season where we had eclipses activating this energy of change and transformation in our lives. Venus is the ruler of Libra and so that realm and that karmic healing that we did with these eclipses that we just had actually were focused on the realm of relationships. We also have the south node in Libra and that karmic energy was being channeled through our past life memory and our release of the past so that we can step forward into the future. Now the sun has entered into Scorpio and so we officially enter Scorpio season this year. This Scorpio season is intense and so potent because Pluto, who is the planet that rules Scorpio, is finishing its transit through Capricorn and officially entering into Aquarius right by the end of the season. So Scorpio season in general is a time of letting go, of releasing, of putting things down and no longer having to look at them again. Not like you're ignoring them, but basically it's the quintessential symbolic death ritual that we do every year during this time. And that's why this time coupled with the holiday starting can feel very intense but you're resetting yourself this is the reset this is the time to like let go of all of those things that really truly are not serving you will not help you into the future and so that you can create space and make a new path forward and this energy is definitely about moving forward especially with Pluto officially entering into Aquarius and us being uh, fully initiated into a new world. So you are closing major chapters this month. You are closing the story that in your own individual life began in 2008. Yes, think back what was going on in 2008 for you and let that energy finish. Like close the book, <laughs> finish it off put it away, bury it, give it a little death funeral, and then get ready for the new world. I can't wait for you guys to check out this divine message reading for Scorpio season. I hope you enjoy it and let us dive right in. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, teachers, for being here with us today. We would like to ask for a message for Scorpio season, how to navigate through the energies and how to best succeed during this season of death, change, and transformation. So we are going to begin by pulling an overall theme Card for us for the month. Oh, I can feel it right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is really funny. So we got the tower card and this is a major arcana, which means that it is a very important message. We could have gotten any of the suit cards, but we did not. We get the tower and the tower is about things um, changing, things resetting, breaking away, breaking the chains. There is a big theme of letting the deep inner change that is wanting to be birthed, that is wanting to happen to actually flow through our lives right now. And even though tower moments can feel very difficult and very challenging, they are the key to help us grow and to evolve. So here we go. This month's big theme is all about letting go, which is very Scorpio, and making space for something new. So I want to pick a couple of the color cards to see. We're going to just extend on this theme that we have going on here. 
Yeah, tower, tower card is like, okay. But I think that it's telling us to not resist the change that is coming, the change that is here. We get Aubergine, which is about forgiveness, which is so fitting. The only way to truly move forward, evolve in life is to forgive. So the tower moments that we are going to be experiencing during this month or the big tower moment that we're going to be experiencing is definitely having to do and will trigger a deep sense of need for forgiveness for ourselves and for others. We get emerald fluidity. This card is so beautiful. I see this beautiful portal here. I see us kind of flowing through the energy. And this is the, the in essence, where when we surrender to the flow, this is basically what it ends up feeling like. And it's good and it's positive and it's, you know, it's not restricting. You're not supposed to feel restricted at all um, from the tower moments. The tower moments are actually liberating moments. So forgiveness is the key to move through whatever tower falls and fluidity going with the flow is the second big theme that is going to uh, guide us through this month and help us to deal with this, you know, tower moment that is showing up for us. Let us pick... Let's do some more tarot cards here. And I never plan how these readings are going to go. I just have a bunch of decks here and I go with my intuition. So let's see what else we want to know. Oh, wow. So this deck is called the Age of Aquarius Tarot. And it's got some major arcana that only belong to this deck. So it's like a new energy. And this one is called Blueprint. It's the creation of something new, never before seen, divine guidance to follow your heart. Okay, <laughs> so basically the reason why things are going to be falling apart, first of all, this season of Scorpio is ruled by Pluto, and Pluto is the planet of death, change, and transformation, and he is also ending his transit through Capricorn. This is a transit that began in 2008. Pluto and Capricorn is about breaking down the old structures and we're getting ready for a new world because at the end of this season, Pluto officially enters into Aquarius and will remain in Aquarius indefinitely for the next 20 years. And it is basically us entering into the age of Aquarius. So how synchronistic that I am using these age of Aquarius tarot cards. But this blueprint card is telling us that there's a new plan. There is a something new is coming around the corner and we've never seen it before so we better be ready for what um, is coming and the only way to be ready for something new is to let go of the old and the only way for that to happen is to let the tower fall and stop resisting the beauty about tower moments is that ultimately they help you to put things aside and let them be and not go back to them eight of cups yes these are all these cards are fitting very very beautifully so the eight of cups is about walking away from that which no longer serves us this is both individually in your life and also for us collectively this month we are walking away going to a new world letting the tower fall allowing the change to just flow through not resisting it, finding forgiveness deep in our heart and going with the flow. These messages are beautiful. So if you are resisting walking away, then that's when things are going to be challenging and that's when things are going to be difficult. So the gift is that to know that the, the there is something beautiful at the end of the tunnel. There is something beautiful on the other side of you know, the transformation and the transition and the transmutation in our lives. So knowing that, that is what should give you hope for the future. And ultimately, this season 
is the time of the year where we get to kind of cleanse ourselves of anything that is really it's really no longer needed no longer necessary no longer um, going to even help us at all in our lives in general and so the opportunity here is massive with the ruling planet pluto ending its transit through capricorn and us officially entering into aquarius i'm being called to draw a card that represents this transition and i'm gonna use the gene keys card so this is a message ab about this transition of pluto and if you don't know anything about the gene keys they help us transmute shadows into gifts i'm going to use the book here for this one it is the 54th gene key with the gift of aspiration and let's see what it is about the 54th gene key greed is an energy that will compromise its own integrity in a flash to get what it wants and this is its downfall this gene key moves from the shadow of greed to the gift of aspiration to the city of ascension my gift to you I bring the gift of aspiration. Look long and hard at the ways you're still driven by fear, competition, and the desire to serve yourself. That's very Capricorn. I come when it is time to start thinking about how to serve others. Ooh, that's Aquarius. And how to join forces. That's Aquarius. In order to create a healthier, more sustainable world. Wow. Call out your inner Robin Hood. Start giving back think holistically, find creative ways to more justly redistribute the resources on our planet. Whoa! If you don't have money, donate time, energy, wisdom, and love. Remember, if you've been holding on to what you've got, oh, that's the tower speaking, this is a good time to let it go. If you've been resisting others' generosity, it's a good time to receive. Keep it flowing and all will thrive whoa that's crazy that's crazy okay that is the message <laughs> from pluto i mean it is so entering into the aquarian age i can't even handle it oh my god um so i want to pull an alchemy card and these cards can help us understand ways that we can alchemize the energy work with you know the ancient occult knowledge the hermetic alchemy which is literally what alchemy means it is um, moving through and watching and helping and evolving things as they change what do we get right here <laughs> sorry oh my god God, I have never pulled this card before in this deck. Okay, Uranus. All right, you're. This is a joke. No, I'm just kidding. They are really playing with us right now. I love it. So Uranus is the planet that rules the sign of Aquarius, and it is the planet that is going to be basically dispositing the energy of the transit of Pluto in Aquarius, and Uranus is all about transformation change revolution a whole new world <laughs> and activating the higher mind so the way to alchemize with uranus has to do with letting the activation happen and watching the energy centers like turn on and that kundalini energy to rise up through your spine and open you open up your awareness like awaken you uranus is the great awakener and so awakening to what is coming into our lives is one key to alchemize this energy our next card is wise salt whoa well first of all i love the rainbow here because this rainbow is representative of all of the chakras in the body and the uranus energy works with the chakras 
to activate the kundalini and the kundalini will rise and we will find <laughs> that it is just wild a wild adventure that has so much exciting things on the other side i do want to read from this uh book i have to find the exact page here because the salt i've never pulled this card and it seems so interesting um to pull this so give me one second it does not surprise me that this energy is here so here we go wise salt is the sacred ingredient of preservation oh my god in due time and with due experience the alchemist slowly develops these granules of wisdom that can someday be passed to another salt retains preserves and absorbs it brings complexity to flavors and grit to slippery roads such is the magic of sal sapiente someone who carries wise salt is immediately recognizable this is speaking to me of like taking our wisdom forward this is about absorbing the wisdom that it, that will come from this beautiful journey of scorpio season their words hold meaning their stories are deep and true they have wisdom that cannot be attained by any other means than decades of pain and pleasure you may experience wise salt through the elders of the community when this card appears know that everything you are doing you are going through will be of use down the line alchemically you are being brined or brined preserve what you can let go of the rest and lean heavily on your elders whoa so community is going to be huge during this time and um tribe community and tribes i feel like many communities and many tribes will be like gr like they're birthing we're like seeding a new humanity and this season is this season is crazy it's not just any scorpio season this scorpio season is where pluto officially transitions and he rules this season he is like the king of scorpio <laughs> so this is why we're getting such like a long-term reading even though we're basically tuning into the next 30 days let's pull a crystal card i just want to see what crystal we can work with what energy um, crystal magic can help us during this time initiation our aragonite which is the fire element which is about initiation i love like the wings of isis on this card no joke <laughs> the wings of isis so working with aragonite which is a stone of initiation is going to be a powerful key and also working with so when i pick the crystal cards i often recommend that you get a crystal that it says and then you wear it or you carry it around um tuning into the frequency will help you understand and move through the energy of the season and the other stone we get is hematite mm, which is the root chakra so stay grounded and it's also the um, energy of culmination and i love also this message of this greek temple here goddess energy for sure so hematite and argonite are two stones that are going to be great to use during um this month and the last i want to pull let's see we're gonna do some rose oracle cards how can we take care of ourselves this scorpio season and thank you spirit guides for these amazing messages all right first way to take care of ourselves mother rose okay there's isis again there's hathor mm. the great mother oh there's mary wow this is major goddess card returning to each other compassion humanity get out of here are you serious that is so aquarian age the breathing rose heart healing emotions connection time eases love that and open say yes expand through extremes 
and trust life. Whoa. <laughs> what do we need a little ounce of to help us move through this month? What do we need a little ounce of? Nurturing. An ounce of nurturing. Nurture yourself. Nurture those that you are close to. Oh, this symbolism of the mother is coming through again so beautifully. Okay, so there we have it. This is such a beautiful message. So we are experiencing a major tower moment during this time. The key for us is to learn to forgive to go with the flow, to know that there is change coming, that the change that is coming is going to be big. It's going to test us. This is Plutonian energy. It is ultimately uh, the planet of liberation, but the liberation can only happen with the release. So we need to walk away from that which no longer serves us, especially emotional trauma. And we need to know that a new blueprint is coming. There is a plan. There is a new path forward. It's Uranus. It's a new world. It's the activation of our power. It's our ability to work together that is being activated. But deep down within ourselves, we need to heal. Deep within, we need to heal. This is the only way that we're going to move through is to forgive and move forward. So take care of yourself. Have an amazing Scorpio season. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know below what is your reaction to this message if it resonates for you and make sure to check out all the links below of all the classes and courses that are coming up and if you want to learn to tap into your powerful intuition and your creative ability to read and tune into the akashic records check out our moon goddess training which begins in 2025 in january of 2025 satnam thank you spirit guides angel teachers for being here with us during this beautiful reading we thank you 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 satnam waheguru have an amazing scorpio season